hey, you're still here. Cool. Uh, today's Sangha Tourism is 1223 and there are seven addendums left. Okay, today's Sangha topic, hanging. What do I mean when I say hanging? Well, over the last couple of years, I've used this term a lot. Hanging, pulling, and pushing. What exactly does hanging mean? Well, uh, hanging refers to, uh, if I'm on the lead here, this is my, my lead left to a follower right, and I pull down with most of my weight with my right. That's hanging. We'll get, it, get, get into a little bit of detail in a moment. Item number two refers to, you're going to see a whole bunch of followers that take their left arm and place it al al along the, sh the, the shoulder line of the lead. Item number three is, uh, happens in turns, specifically on the follower's forward step or the follower's uh, back step in a molinete or a follower's back ocho. And it usually happens when they're pulling down and need to push off of something. <clears throat> Me showing you this doesn't necessarily help you to understand what I mean by that. So I want to go a little deeper and explain just a little bit what I mean by me. Okay. So in the case of number one, where I'm pulling down, watch, look at what's happening here. I'm having to, as a lead, I'm having to hold my follower up. Uh, that, that means that if I want to, to lead anything, that means that I have to quite literally and factually stabilize you first and then overpower you secondly. That's a lot of strength to do that. Item number two is you're going to see a whole bunch of followers that do this, that place their, their, their left arm along the, line, the shoulder line of the lead right here and then, you know, try to dance like that. There's a one tiny little problem with this, is that there's no information there. Now, mind you, this is entirely subjective. It's not subjective, it's actual fact. Um, that, that, that there's no information there. And the reason that there's no information along the shoulder line is because all of his turn information is happening right here, right here about two inches down where, where, the, where this finger is pointed right now. And that's T7, T8, and T9 of my spinal column. Anytime that I turn, all of my rotation information is there. And if your arm is stuck along the, along the shoulder line, you're not going to hear that, that information. You'll hear it as an echo. So why is this hanging? Well, because most followers place all of their weight down, downwards on their lead with this arm. They're literally you know, hanging off their lead. Is this desirable? No, it is not. Okay, now we're talking about number three. Number three talks about when we are in, in, a, in, the, in, the, in a forward step and I need to turn and I need to pull or hang off of something or a back step and I need to push off of something or I'm in an ocho and I need to push off of something. Is this desirable? No, it is not. I want to point something out to you in case you were unclear. I'm the guy in the room and I am going to, well, do an ocho without needing to push. Or more importantly, I'm going to apply disassociation without needing to push off of anyone. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Just like that. Did I need to push off of anyone? No, I did not. Is this desirable, what I just did? Yes. Is what you're doing desirable? No, it is not. Me showing you this stuff does not necessarily help you to understand what I mean by hanging. Now I want to show you exactly what I mean when I say hanging. And the moment that I show it to you, you're going to go, I totally get it. And I mean this, it's an immediate get. Here it is in a nutshell. Ready? Here we go. Do you understand what I mean by hanging now? This is exactly what you are doing when you are hanging off your lead. This. Now we add a little bit of downward pressure and watch what happens to this hanger. Notice it's expanding. The reason it's expanding is because there's weight on it. Do we want this to happen? No, we do not. We want the hanging to disappear. Okay. In conclusion, Hanging, not desirable. It's a ton of work for, 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 for the lead. Um, you can agree with me, you can disagree with me. But there are two things that are true. 
The first thing that is true is that if you stop hanging, you're going to get this out of your lead. Put simply, it's less work for them. If, you ha if the lead, quite literally and factually, has to stabilize you because your walk is unstable, or your turns are unstable, or your applied disassociation is unstable, or you are out of control, then that's an enormous amount of physical strength that I have to use in order to make this dance work. Do I want to do that work? No, I don't. So that's item number one. Item number two has everything to do with, at the end of that tanda, I am going to say two words to you. Do you know what they are? Let me help you out with this one. Thank you. If you are hanging on me, you are pulling on me, you are pushing on me, I am going to employ those two wonderful words that I have been waiting moments to say. I have been lit quite literally counting the moments when that tanda is going to be over so that I don't have to dance with the hanging, pulling, and pushing girl. In other words, followers, you need to learn how to walk so that you don't need to hang, pull, or push in any way, shape, or form. Agree with me, disagree with me. But I got news for you. I don't want to do that kind of work, and I can virtually guarantee you most leads do not want to do that kind of work. That's your Tango Tourism for today, and I look forward to seeing you, yes, you, on a social dance floor somewhere in the world. God knows where. Now, I'm getting out of here.